my rear seat passengers said they need cup holders. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, nothing big. Yeah. Hey, Gone Jeep and fans, this is Tyler. I'm here today with Terry Madden, Ultra 4 racer, entrepreneur, all around. Yeah, I don't even know how to put a title on it anymore, Tyler. <laughs> like, who knows what it is that you do, right? I don't really know what I'm doing tomorrow. Racer. Racer. Yeah. We're here out at Area BFE uh, during the Moab Easter Jeep Safari. Ultra 4 is putting on a racing event, and Terry's actually going to be racing in the event. Yeah, it's been a really good week, Tyler. We got to come out and play all week first, and uh, then just did, finishing up the week with a race on top of all the playing. So what class do you race? I'm actually racing 4800 today. We, uh, we've we partnered up with uh, Mike London and the Warrior Built Foundation. Warrior Built Foundation's amazing. I, I was a veteran. They they do rehabilitation through recreation and uh, I actually went to their Tuesday night counseling group for a long long time had a lot of trouble and they uh, sponsored primarily by monster and they help a lot of people and Mike's graciously volunteered his car and the vets get to come out and work pits and help and drive and test and I've been co-driving for him just trying to help him out this year and help him get rolling perfect uh, for the vets out there how do they contact those guys um, you know I should know that but it, it is at warrior built on on uh, Instagram. At Warrior Built on yep. Instagram. It's a really amazing operation. All right, perfect. Uh we're going to do a little walk around about this sick Cherokee. Uh, tell us a little bit about what, how did you come to have this and what the heck it is? I stole it. <laughs> Perfect. Now, it's a 69 Wagoneer. KC Highlights built it for SEMA a couple years ago. They are one of my main marketing partners that I'm really lucky to have. They wanted me to bring their Gladiator here this year and this was sitting in the back of the shop and I kind of was like, guys, I need the keys to that. Yeah, There's yeah. gonna be a thousand gladiators there. I want that. Yeah, screw and the gladiator. Let's get the old iron man. I really didn't think it happened, but they <clears throat> handed me the keys with no supervision and let us come play for a week. Sweet. We're gonna go over this a little bit, um, but given that Terry didn't build it, tell us what you know about it. I really it. don't know a lot about it. It's crazy because uh, it's an amazing build. Had a lot of amazing brand partners with it and a lot of good parts with it. But it was a SEMA build that truly hadn't been wheeled. It was a show car. You kind so of found, found that out we the brought, hard way, didn't We you? brought it out here, and, but it's that's like any new race car we build. Every race car we build has that shakedown period, and you have to, you find the gremlins, you find the bugs, so it was a, a new car build shakedown period. So we had a few gremlins this week, we've had a few problems, she's still got a few more, but the, uh, the level of amazing partners on it is unreal. Yeah, I love the old style worn winch. You cannot beat an 8274. Yeah, looks like this is pretty much custom fab I, I, most of it. It is, but they did such a good job, and I wish I could give the right people credit, but I don't know. Yeah. They kept the old split bumper design and merged it with the new, and they kept the nostalgia plus added the new, but, and it couldn't so have cool. really aligned better for me. It's got worn, it's got Factor 55, it's got PRP seats, a hell of a Rockford Fosgate system in it, Rugged Radios is in it, VFG, Curry's, I mean, it's got the parts on it, power tank, Desert Squadron first aid. It's got the parts on it I would have used if I built it myself. Well, I so, love that you do it with um, the old style. They use the old style Casey highlight instead of a, a light bar. I that really is love. actually their new lights. That's the new Pro 6 that they've made look like the old ones, and it's amazing. It looks so um, much cooler. I love the old. And I know Casey the. Look. The guys at NB Fab, I do not know them, but I know they had a lot to do with putting it together and now after driving it, I kind of want to meet them or need to meet them. They did an amazing job of holding the nostalgia plus the new products. Yeah. It works well. We we took it and put it to its test. So you got, you got new tech, but the old style. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, curry axles, is that right? It's got curries in it. Front and rear. I do not know what lockers are in it. Uh, it is locked front and rear. We. Wouldn't have made it the places we went if it wasn't. What trails have you done this week? We did, uh, we ran, oh, hell, I ran all over. I took it, take up Moab Rim the first night. Did you go up there with Greg? No, I actually took my dad up there. He uh, has never been here, and his first trail was Moab Rim. He oh, wasn't, uh, yeah, he wasn't very proud of me. No. <laughs> at all. That's and a it was a little, way to break somebody in. It was a little sketchy in this. <laughs> it, she's a little top heavy, a little skinny. Yeah. But, uh, um, probably the worst spot I had in this week was Flatiron Mesa. Okay. The little tight turnout on the cliff okay. was not cool in this at all. A little bit longer wheelbase. A little, little longer wheelbase, a little top heavy, and it's imminent death yep. on right. Yep. But uh, 
It did really, really well. We had and, a lot of fun with and it. And you survived. Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, 37, 1250 tires, BFG mud trains, it looks like. Yes, uh, which I can't imagine running anything else. Great tire, great tire. I actually run those tire. on my personal personal Jeep. Uh, what engine's in it? It does have an LS in it. I, it's the truck LS. I don't know the exact numbers. I'm not that good at LS guy and I don't want somebody to call me dumb. But uh, <laughs> they did a good job with that. They, one thing I was real impressed with, the maximum transmission. They maintained okay. the old look without putting a new transfer case in it, but gutted everything and put billet gears and good stuff inside the old housings. Ah. So it's, she's tough, but when you look under it, she's still got that little bit of nostalgia. The bulletproof internal components. Yep. Looks like you got a dual battery system. Dual battery. battery, it's got the Holly EFI in it. It's wired yeah. nice, uh, hardwired performance wired it, and that's one thing I'm super impressed with. It's got the vintage air in it. I had heat and AC all week. Nice. Uh, they put had a lot of good parts on it. I love the dust in here. Oh, it's it's like you've been it, wheeling it. It got used. Yeah, you've been wheeling I don't know it if they knew it. that was what was going to happen, but they let me, they turned me loose with it, so we put it to the test. <laughs> kind of, uh, they went for sort of a vintage patina look on yeah. the paint. I like that. Very nice. Ah, look. Billet overflow bottles, everything. Uh, it's, I mean, it's really nice. They did a really nice build. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I'd have done much different. That's exactly what I was going to ask you next. If you could do anything different, um, what, would you do anything some different? Some comfort issues. I I think I'd put some steps on it. I don't have any trouble getting in and out, but a lot of my passengers did. Yeah. I need more driver's leg room. I would move the bar, cage bar, and slide the seat back a little bit. I was a little uncomfortable there. I was and thinking my, the rock rails. Yep. My rear seat passengers w w said they need a cup holders. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, nothing big. Yeah. <laughs> That's N nothing big. Out of out of all the things that could be wrong, that's pretty minor. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what that's I felt like. Minor. Outstanding. Bead locks looks like you're running actual full yeah, bead well, locks. Uh, yeah, it's got Walker wheels. Walker's helped me for years and years and years in all my desert stuff. So again, mm -hmm. something I would have done. Still leaf sprung front and rear. That's yes, cool. um, it does need some shock work. That's um that would be on my list if they let me keep it. That it's got a tremendous amount of body roll. Yeah, and it's heavy and sloppy, and but it hadn't been drove. That's just tuning. That's easy. We get spoiled. You go run all these trails in a race car, and it's boring. Yeah, I know that sounds bad, but we do. I get we're spoiled. I'm very, very spoiled to get through the stuff I get to do, and getting back in something that wasn't as capable and made you use your skills. Yeah. It, it made the week a lot of fun. Yeah, we actually uh, we did uh, metal masher yesterday in a, in a 2016 Rubicon with a slight lift, about 34 inch tires. And it was like cheating. Yeah. You know, it was like cheating. It really is. It's it's amazing what they're capable of. Yeah. Out of the box now. And, yeah. and leaf springs adds a whole nother element. I haven't wheeled on leaf springs in a long time. It's, yeah. It was, it was fun. We, uh, this year we actually decided to bring a 46 CJ2A because we wanted to kind of get back to the pure, pure driving. And of course, that eliminates us from being able to do some trails, but we've had a hoot. Yeah, Eric Flar is a, a good friend, has motive gear, and he's big in the flat fender world. And the last several years, I didn't make it this year, I was out here qualifying, but I've, they do a kind of a flat fender Friday run, and I've got to go with them. And it's probably pretty much my highlight of Moab every year. You get out in the old Jeeps, and you get back in a canyon somewhere, and there's some pictures of this one that way that you can't tell if it was shot in the 70s or if it was shot yesterday, and that, that's cool. That's really cool. Cool. Yeah, and it, it gets you back to you have to drive. Yes, you can't there. let the vehicle do everything for you. You actually have to drive it. So, and this thing is very, very capable, but you do have to have some talent to drive it. Um, Super cool. I made, and the fact that it's not mine, I was nervous a few times for them. <laughs> I don't like taking other people's stuff through that stuff, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but you proved it. Really, it's proven vehicle now. Yeah. We changed a lot of things, and I'm gonna go home and change some more things, but. Uh, like I said, it's nothing that they did wrong. It's just shakedown. Just shakedown. Yep. Anytime you have a build like a custom build like this, yeah. there is a period well, it's, of it's that way with the bugs. An, it's that way with a new trophy truck. It's you're still a shakedown period. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good luck on your race today. I appreciate Go that. Go out there and kick some butt. And uh, if you guys want more footage of this, there's going to be probably some more pictures of this on. Uh, our Gone Jeep and Facebook and our Gone Jeep and Instagram. And uh, watch for this thing on the trails, man. This yeah, there actually could be a.
a KC campaign trying to find it because I don't know if I'm actually gonna gonna give it back to them. <laughs> <laughs> they might have to. They might have to chase you down. Yeah, they might have to come get it. Okay, we'll promise we won't let them use this as evidence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Terry. Good luck on the race today, and we'll see you. Appreciate it. All right. That's it for Gone Jeeping today. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>